not horizontal at all. No. He is up, upright here. This person is upright, upright here. here. This person is upright here. But actually, you know, I have seen that even some. Uh, I have had people who have even uh, post graduation astrophysics who draw it here. You know, people standing here like this. Oh. And here like this. But you can always be on like feet be on the ground only. Unless yes, you are it has to some be. yoga. No, no, no. It has no. So we are talking about normal yeah. standing <laughs> position. No. So okay, now what, what yes. So now what does it mean? So it means that what is the direction of upwards? Direction of upwards is over here. This is up this along is this down. long and this is down. Anywhere on earth. Yes. It goes along the diameter. So the perpendicular to the surface. Yeah. On the sur above the surface above will the be surface up upwards. And towards the center. The surface so, will be the down. so it's all along the diameter of the earth. Yes. Correct. And you have sky all around here. Yeah. So towards the sky is your upwards. 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 And towards we have the this, surface. We have this sky all around. Correct. Almost. Around. It's, it's, a, it's a bigger sphere. Hmm. All around. Hmm. 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 Yeah, that's it. So that's the concept of upwards and downwards. That up is perpendicular to the earth's in the point earth, outwards. Outwards. And this outwards towards the gravitational pull center. It is downwards. downwards. Okay. And if you see on the diametrically opposite place, yes, it's, it's the just other the way opposite. Yes, just the other way round. Just the other way round. Just as it is at the north pole and at the south pole. Yes. True that. Exactly. But since the size of the earth is so large, so large, you're not able to appreciably see this difference even if you move to a you know, yes. great distance. As you go on moving, you just move along the curve. Can't really notice the curve that of the difference. earth, and you don't see that. You don't see. So it's not that you're hanging upside down. No, no, we are not. Can't happen. Certainly. Just can't happen. Yeah. So this lion here is taking a walk across the globe at the North Pole. This is upright. He's up here. The head is upwards. Here. This is upwards, then at the equator, this is upwards. As he goes down, he's still upright, still upright. And here at the south pole, he's still upright. His head is still upwards. It's not downwards, he's not, the line is not going to fall off. It's still upwards. So this side is north, and the opposite side is south. Now this is east, this side is east. And this is west. So north is this side. This. It's not this. This is upwards. This is skywards. This is not north. This is north. So this arrow towards the north. This is north. This white one. This is south. Red is north. White is south. This east. And this is west. And this one upwards. This is up. This is not north. Upwards is not north. This is north. This. And going towards the center of the earth is down. So up and down are like this. Perpendicular to the earth. Perpendicular to the ground. So you see this is if you uh, go through, if you browse through the internet, yes, you will find lots of uh, maps and lots of representations like this. Like the upside down. Like yes, maps. where it is actually it is not upside down, it is south upwards and not downwards. Yes. So a map can easily be uh, uh, shown like this and the globe can also be presented like this where yeah. the south is upwards and north is, according, again it is a wrong uh, statement to make that it is upwards it is in this direction yes. so you are looking at it in this way uh, in fact if you uh, there are some countries which are especially those that are in the uh, either near the equator or in the southern hemisphere who actually show the world or the map like this because hmm. yes like the, yes with this south upwards they show this south the, upwards this was an initial yes south upwards yeah. because in space there is no upwards and downwards yeah. in it. space in space when you see and that is why uh, this is very important to note that when you see have a telescope through which you are viewing the planets yeah. over there you don't what is the difference basic difference between a telescope and a Binoculars. Binoculars. What is the difference between that or a terrestrial telescope where you again have a corrective lens which 
corrects the inverted images and it makes them erect according to our own orientation. But in space you don't need that because there is no upside and downside in space. Oh. It can be any which way. When you are going in a rocket, if you are towards the southern hemisphere, if you are going above the south pole, that is up, upside for you. That would be upside. That would be upside for you. So if you browse through the internet, you will see there are lots of representations like this, and also representations of the entire globe, which yeah. shows south to be upwards, south pole. So, the south pole of the earth is upwards and the north pole is downwards. That is a kind of an orientation. It's a perception that we have that this is up and down. This is not up, that's what I showed you outside. Yeah. That this is north and south, which we are viewing like this. If you make it flat, yes. look at this image. If you make it flat, yes. then it is just, you know, this is south, this is, this is north, and up yeah. is this. Yeah, this is, this up, is not, not up. Not this is not yeah. up. What you're Seeing here in this image, yeah. this is not up. This is not, but this, this not is not south. Yeah. You have Sorry. to say, you have to specify south, and north, east and west, east and, and west. up and down. And up and down. Okay. Yeah. That would be logical enough. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks a lot maps that we see were first designed and published by Gerardus Mercator in 1569. He was a Flemish cartographer who rendered the latitudes and longitudes as straight lines with accurate ratio between the two at any given point on the map. He introduced the term atlas for a collection of maps. In 1544, he was arrested and imprisoned for his explorations and studies but the university authorities stood behind him and he was released after seven months.